Hey everybody, Mike Wolford here from the Dude's Kitchen. How is everybody? I hope you're all good. I well, hope you're ready for the holidays. I know I'm not, but eh, what the hell. Uh, today we're doing a special uh, a breakfast that is tradition of my family on Christmas morning. And it's Swedish pancakes. So first thing we want to do is we want to get our butter started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut off about a half of one of these things of butter, a cube of butter, about half. And we're gonna throw it in here and we're gonna melt it because we're gonna use it on our pan and we're also gonna use it as part of our uh, pancakes. So we'll drop that down in there. The next part we wanna do, three eggs. We take our three eggs, we're gonna whisk them up. the heck out of them too. I don't know if you guys can see this, but you all know how to whisk eggs. And that's pretty good. The second part we're gonna do is we have a cup of flour in here, a half tablespoon of sugar, and a half teaspoon of salt. We're gonna add it into this. I'm getting to the point in the recipe that I'm going to have to add in our heavy cream. So we're about halfway through it. Lay down our heavy cream. That calls for two cups heavy cream. Whisk that in there nicely. Get it all together. Start adding a little bit more. Whisk, whisk, whisk. So everything is wet and there's no chunks. All right, that's looking pretty good. A little bit more, perfect. Next thing we're gonna do is take our cast iron pan. We're gonna put it on to the Queen Fry 360 griddle. Let it start warming up. And I am gonna take a little bit more of our butter and put it on there. You know me, it's all about cooking with butter. Butter and a beer, that's all you need. Just throw that on there, let it start melting. Our butter's melting in, in here. We got that, we're just waiting for it to go down, the melted butter into here. We start making our Swedish pancakes. In the meantime, I'm gonna have a beer. It's like 41 degrees out right now, and the kids are playing in the common area. They're having a good time throwing the ball around. I figured I might as well cook. Now, the inside of this Swedish pancake is gonna be lingonberry. Now this is where I kind of veer just a little bit from my stepdad. I like to use a little bit of cream cheese in here, and it's pretty much at room temp. Put it down in here. Kind of mash it up a little bit. And then we're going to take our lingonberries. I had to find this in like the specialty food section and I bet they're not even available year round. I'm going to take a big cup and smash it all together. So that's what it looks like when it starts coming all together. You can see that or not right there. That is just about perfect. Okay, so our butter is pretty much all melted. Let me show you guys. I know you look like you know what melted butter looks like, but there it is. That's a half of a cube of butter. And I'm gonna pour in about four sixths of this, whatever that is, one third, two thirds in there. Whisk it all up again. That all in there, yeah, looking good. Come back over here for our 
cast iron pan. As you can see, the, melt, the butter's melted in here. So we're gonna pour some of this in here. Now this is gonna take three or four minutes to cook. Maybe even a little longer, it just depends upon the heat of, of your uh, a pan. But what we're looking for is this thing's gonna go brown around the side and usually the middle will kind of stay that creamy white. But as soon as it starts getting brown and more brown and more brown, that's when we're gonna wanna flip it. So that's about perfect right there. So we'll see you here in just a moment. Okay, we're at two minutes. This is just starting to brown on the outside. So we still have a ways to go. So I'm guessing that the heat's not quite like um, you know, the four minute marker and we're done. Okay, so we're back. It's been nine minutes. I have, would not have expected to take this long, but we are doing it outside versus inside on a, on a uh, oven or stove, excuse me. But see the metal, we're not getting anything now. So take a look at it. The sides are nice and loose. It's that metal part that's kind of stubborn. I hope we don't destroy this one. Just kind of loosely finagle. Oh, perfect. Check it out. Check that out. That's about picture perfect right there. You see how it moves? I like this. So we're going to give it another two minutes on this side, and then we're going to add our lingonberry and cream cheese to it. Okay, guys, it's been two minutes, and we solved the mystery of the spoon. All the time, it was in our lingonberries. Who knew? All right, two minutes, guys. Let's check it out. That is about perfect right there. So, you don't really need a lot of lingonberries to put in there. A little bit goes a long ways. See? Now we roll it. And that's about perfection right there. Check that bad boy out. Now let's test it. Love these things. Dude, that cream cheese and lingonberry comes through so well on this. Mmm. So good, guys. And since it's the holidays, there's nothing low carb about this. You could probably make it low carb. That's your challenge right there. To try to figure out how to make this low carb. Man, it's so good. Thanks everybody for watching. We made Swedish pancakes with lingonberry and cream cheese. So simple to make. You just got to be patient.